Here in Maryland, the uh, Maryland Department of Highways is often uncovering human remains when they're cutting new roads and um, building new structures. In some cases, we're working with human remains that we're literally washing out of river banks. And so we have partial skeletal remains and single bones or even single teeth. The biggest challenges of working with historic remains is the low quantity of DNA that you're able to recover. Forensics has undergone a lot of change. About 20 years ago, scientists would analyze individual hairs for individualization. That method has been shown to not individualize hairs. But nowadays, we can perform both a nuclear DNA analysis from the nucleus of the cell as well as a mitochondrial DNA analysis. And both of those are quite useful for identity typing and also for familial typing. We are using next generation sequencing for the analysis of these samples because we're able to analyze many more sites than we ever were before with traditional methods such as capillary electrophoresis. We use a lot of Kyogen equipment to apply our knowledge and our success in DNA typing to human remains, historic human remains that are two, three, four hundred years old um, from the dawn of early America. And we're able to extract DNA from those samples and determine the genotype of those samples, and as well the sex and the phenotype, more outward features. And the methods are getting better. We're able to isolate more DNA more quickly and with less variation now than we've ever been able to before. Kyogen. Sample to insight.